application. Uh, let's see, HDMI wire. Uh, this is a normal HDMI. You could see something else, it's gold plated, gold plated. And quantity one, this one is $40. I'm gonna hit save. It's gonna clear, it's gonna leave my add new line button in there. We refresh, writes to SharePoint, writes the entire line, writes the entire order. We have our entire order on one line, everything looking beautiful. We have our add new line. We can do all of that. So the idea is not to copy me exactly, but this is a nice start to a purchase order. Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess. So I had a question from one of you and I know there's a lot of questions coming in and if I haven't gotten to your question, maybe it's really difficult for me to explain it through a text or an email. I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna make videos, you know, hopefully for as many questions as I can. But this one came in and they wanted to create like a purchase order. They wanted a, a video and this question was based off, you know, write many lines at once into a record in SharePoint. But what this user was trying to do, uh, Francisco, was try to write four cells of filled in lines in a single column in SharePoint, as if it were a purchase order. So, you know, someone would come in, they would fill in multiple lines in a purchase order, and then would write in one line in SharePoint. So I was thinking, okay, this sounds like a good video. I'm gonna try and come up with this on the fly. Now the idea is not to copy me exactly, but to just take what I create and then go with it and make it better than what we do. We're gonna kinda go over some of the functionality and see how we can put this together. So I put a very simple power app together. Uh, it's just some text inputs. I am using modern where I can. Uh, some of the labels are, are not modern. These top labels are not. But you can see here, these are all modern text inputs in a gallery. So all I did was create a gallery. It's not connected to any data source yet. And we have some text inputs, uh, labels, and the columns. Now the spacing, how I got that in there with uh, modern is I just said label width minus two. So I just said, okay, this label minus two, add in that width, and then I matched it up, and that's where that line comes in. The other line at the bottom is just a rectangle. So that's just a rectangle down here. Kind of makes it look like a, like a sheet. I don't know, I thought it looked good. So that's how I put this together. Now let's see if we can get this to write to SharePoint in one line. But first, when we press play, uh, it does show some things in there, but we're going to make this a collection. So this line here is going to be a collection. So I'm just going to write, you know, call item order. That's my collection, right? It doesn't exist yet, but as you can see, it's going to be blank. So on the app start, on the app right here, you could do it on the screen if you wanted. Maybe we'll do it on the screen. On the screen visible, we're going to write a collection. So for our collection up here, we're going to, I guess, clear collect first thing, clear collect. And we're gonna clear collect our collection item order. That's the name that we gave our collection down here in our gallery. And we're just gonna collect each one of these all blank for right now. So item is gonna be blank. And then we'll have description. Oh, we forgot our squiggly. Let's put our squiggly in. Item is blank. Description is blank. Quantity is, let's say this is actually zero because it's a number. And price is also going to be zero. All right, so now we have a blank collection down here. We got rid of our red X. Let's just create another screen so we can get our on visible. And we'll create a button. And this will navigate us to screen one. So now we'll get our on visible property. You can see we have one line. Notice it doesn't show a zero in there. That's kind of nice. All right, so now we need a button that does the same thing, that creates another line for us. So I'm gonna insert a modern button. We'll just do modern. As much as we can do modern, we're gonna do modern. Uh, this button is gonna do the same thing on the on select. So we'll go to the on visible. It's gonna do the same thing except for not clear collect. We're gonna collect another line. And we're just gonna collect some blanks in there. And this is new line. So now when we click it, we get new lines, they're all blank, uh, and that's how we want it. Now what would be really cool is if we could get a line down here that was like a plus, like I don't know, for some reason to me that's 
that's the UI UX that people are used to is a, a plus right here. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of rig this. Watch, check this out. On the on visible of the screen, instead of doing blank, what I'm gonna write here is I'm going to say show button visible. And so on the on visible property of the screen, it's gonna show button visible. On the visibility of each of these, visible, of each of these uh, text inputs, I'm gonna say if this item dot item equals show button visible, then false, true. I'm gonna do it on each of these, the visibility property. Okay, and then on the new line, it's gonna stay the same. And so let's go back to our screen and let's do the on visible. So everything's blank here on this line, except in this row, we're gonna now insert a button, a modern button, and it'll be right here. And maybe it'll be transparent and it'll say add new line. We'll make it a little wider. Maybe um, it'll be subtle or outline, secondary, how about that? So now the button is there, but the visibility of the button is gonna be the opposite. If it's show button visible, we'll say true, else false. And then also on my rectangle, on my line here, my rectangle, I also don't want this to be visible. So now when I add a new line, it's below. So let's fix the order. Okay, so on the on visible, and just go with me, I'm just creating this as we are. I'm gonna change it to Z show button visible, okay? So now all of these are gonna be Z show button visible because I'm gonna create an alphabetical order. Okay. Let's create a clear button, so clear. So right here, this will clear uh, on select, it will clear my collection item order. And we'll probably fix that in a minute because it actually needs to be clear collect. So it's actually clear collect, it's actually what is on our visible visibility of our screen. We're gonna take that and put it on our clear button, okay? So now we have our new line. We need to fix the rectangle, Z. All right, so we have our new line. Now we want this to be ordered in a certain uh, order using Z. Sort by columns the item. And this will be descending. So now when we create a new line, maybe it's ascending. Now when we create a new line, this button stays down here, which is perfect. That's what I want. And so for this button, it's going to create a new line instead. The on select of this button it's going to create a new line. So now, every time I get rid of this button, I have my clear button up here and I have my add new line down here. That's really neat. That's a, that's a really cool thing I just thought of just right there. So we have an add new line right there. Now the item is gonna be Z, you know, button order. We'll figure that out when we collect again. All right, now let's say we have some items. Let's say yarn, I don't know all this, a 10, five uh, boxes, one, uh, $10. And maybe we wanna convert this to have a money sign on the price. I'll say the value by default. So the value by default is just a money sign. So then someone can come in here and they can write, I mean, they could backspace. You can figure that out if you want. So this is what I'm talking about. Don't copy exactly what I'm doing, but this is what we have. And maybe we'll add even a space in there. So it's actually a money and a space. That's the default. So we come in here, we add a new line. 
We have a space, someone can type in. So now let's do yarn, 10, add a new line, box, one, and uh, that's how much it costs. Now we want to write this, okay? So we have our clear button. Now we want to save. Okay, so I only have four columns now. Contact person, address, items, delivery date. So contact person, that's title, renamed it. Address, single line text, items, multi-line text. I'm gonna write a, a table in there. Delivery date is date. So now we're back to Power Apps, okay. So on our patch button, so this is gonna be saved. On our save button, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect my gallery. All right, so on the save button, I wanna do what I did on a previous video. Uh, on a previous video, I took a gallery and I converted it to HTML text and then I put it in an email. But in this one, I'm gonna take the gallery and I'm gonna convert it into an HTML text, but I'm gonna write it in a multi-line text field. So I'm just gonna paste this in. So you can see here, I'm just saying for all my gallery, collect my gallery. I'm collecting the items, the description, the quantity, and the price. And I'm just, I hooked each one of those up. So I didn't want to write all that out. So I just copy pasted it in there. So now I want to write this in HTML when I patch. So let's, let's do this in two parts to break it up. So first let's put in an HTML text. So here's my HTML text. And I'm gonna do just like I did on another video. I will put that video in the description of this video, so if you wanna uh, check that one out too. So I'm gonna create a table. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a table. Table with a border of one. And the width equals 100%. Okay, and then and, uh, this I'm gonna write some more HTML. I'm gonna do the table headers now. Table header, this will be the item. And then let's see, TH, then we're gonna go through each one. Description. Slash TH, and then quantity. And finally, the price. Oh, we forgot my TH. TH, price, TH. Okay, so you can see my header showed up there. And now we're gonna concat my collection, collection, my gallery. And how are we gonna concat it? We're gonna concat it with the table rows. So table row, and then a TD. Uh, this is HTML, in case you don't know your, TD, uh, your HTML. And then we're going to do the item. And then we're going to do turn off the TD, TRs and the T, uh, TD. So. And literally, I have this in another video. And then description. OK, so I wrote that out. All I'm doing is I'm concatenating my co collection here. And then I'm converting it into a table. So let's hit the save button. And you can see we've now written that out. We actually have this extra line. And that's because of this add new line. Maybe we'll want to figure that out. So in the save button here, I'm going to say remove uh, collection my gallery. The last uh, item in collection my gallery. So now that should remove the last line. So let's click play. All right, there we go. So now we're only collecting those two. Uh, we have this as an, in an HTML. Now we want to patch this instead of viewing it. So in my save button, so we have this collection. So now what we're going to do is we're going to patch. The first thing is the contact person. So actually, we're going to patch order, which is the name of my SharePoint list. Uh, what are we going to patch? We're going to patch the title. Is it this title work or contact person? And the contact person is going to be this text input canvas one. Text input canvas 
1.1.value. Then let's see, next we want to patch is we have four things to patch, address and then the items. So address is the text input canvas. I'm guessing this is one underscore one dot value. This is why it's important to rename things. Next is our items. So we call this items, items, and this is going to be our HTML that we wrote down here. Let's see if we can get all that right. So items is going to be just like that. And then we're going to have a squiggly bracket and a parentheses. Okay, so let's format it so we can look at it. So we're going to collect all that, create, collect our HTML. We're going to remove the last line. Then we're going to patch all of our items. Now, I didn't do delivery date. Let's, let's just add that in just for perfection. And so then finally, the last thing we're going to patch is our date. So down here, we have one more, comma, uh, what was it, delivery date is our date picker canvas one dot selected date. There we go. So let's check it out. So I have my add new line button. I filled in the contact person address and date. So let's say we do like a PC. Uh, this is a Dell computer. A quantity one, it's a little expensive, 2,500. Add a new line. We need a mouse. Uh, this is a typical mouse. Comes with it, it's only, I don't know, $20. We're doing good, not too much inflation. Uh, let's see, HDMI wire. Uh, this is a normal HDMI. I don't know, you could see something else. It's gold plated, I don't know, gold plated. And quantity one, this one is $40, okay. So I removed the table down here. We don't need that, that was just for uh, testing purposes. We can hit the save button. We have all our information in there, we hit save. We go back to SharePoint, we can see my one mistake. I had a little bracket in there, I fixed that. But now, we have our item in here, it's a little bigger, but if we come in here, we can see the entire order. So we have you know, the contact person, the address, the delivery date, the items they ordered, all together, we could probably even do a total. I'm gonna to leave that up for you. If you wanna uh, you know, do a total, that, that's something you're gonna to have to figure out. But we have this all in one line now. So we just used a multi-line text field with the HTML to convert that to one line. So finally, the last thing we would wanna do is on our save button is probably clear our collection, my gallery. Uh, that's the last thing we would probably want to do. And we would want to also have a new line. So we want a new line here. Actually, we want the one where that's the button visible. So on the save button, the last thing we also want to do is clear collect. So let's do one more. I'm going to hit save. It's going to clear. It's going to leave my add new line button in there. We refresh, writes to SharePoint, writes the entire line, writes the entire order. We have our entire order on one line, everything looking beautiful. We have our add new line. We can do all of that. So the idea is not to copy me exactly, but this is a nice start to a purchase order. So if you like what you see here, please like and subscribe. My name is Andrew Hess. I'll see you next time.